Hi, I'm Dr. Teresa Oswald from Knowledge is Medicine. Today I want to talk about my four tips for function. So these are the top four things that I recommend to almost all of my patients and clients and that I practice myself in order to maintain my function um, to the level I want for my daily activities and uh, maintain my function as I naturally age. So the first thing is um, protect your brain at all cost. So no matter how well your body is working, if you lose the function of your cognition or your thinking, um, it really impairs your overall function. So simple things like when you're riding a bike or rollerblading or skiing, wear a helmet to protect your head. Also, you know, reduce um, high-risk behaviors that could lead to falls. Um, and then lastly, be sure that you know that certain chemicals that you put in your body that are intoxicants do have some degree of a neurotoxic effect on our brain. And so alcohol should be used in moderation, um, even regardless of brain health. Um, for health maintenance, um, drinking more than one uh, alcoholic beverage a day for women or more than two for men has um, shown to have uh, not a health protective effect, but actually um, reduces overall health. So number one, protect your brain at all costs. Number two is keep your body flexible. And um, there's four main stretches that I really recommend for everyone. One is to keep your hamstring muscle. That's the muscle that's um, in the thigh region uh, between your knee and your buttock on the back of your leg. That muscle helps when you're bending and doing any kind of bending forward at the waist. Um, your, your spine does a lot of that bending, but first your pelvis kind of rotates to allow your spine to bend. And if your hamstrings are tight, it kind of he keeps your, your pelvis in, in check, and then you have to bend more with the discs of your lower back, and they can wear out naturally with aging, so you don't want to put any extra wear and tear on them. So stretching out your hamstrings on a regular basis um, is really important. And then also there's another muscle at, in, the, in that same area called the piriformis muscle that um, has a set of nerves running from your spine down into your legs. And if that muscle can get, or if that muscle gets tight with the types of sitting activities we do or driving activities, um, that can actually irritate those nerves and can cause some leg pain. And then in our upper, our upper body, um, when we're doing things at the, on the computer, at the desktop, we can have our shoulders kind of move forward, and that can put strain on the muscles in the uh, neck and upper back. So keeping our anterior chest straight by doing um, stretches to try to open that area up um, every couple of days, um, as well as keeping our movement in our neck in check because that can really impact driving. If you can't look over your shoulder to see if cars are, are coming at you, it really restricts your driving ability. So those four main stretches are really helpful and I can do a, a short video on those specific stretches for you. Then next, number three is it's important to get sleep. And uh, it's not just being in bed, but it's being in bed and getting those deep cycles of sleep in um, that allow your body to repair any micro traumas that happen during the day. So rest and sleep are not the same thing. Um, as you know, you can have been in bed sleeping for eight hours and wake up and not feel rested. So making sure that your sleep is, rest, is restful is really helpful. And I'll do a separate video on sleep strategies that help get the most out of the hours you spend uh, at night resting. And then the last strategy, number four, is move a little bit every day and every little bit of movement helps. So if you can only move for 10 minutes, if you do that three times a day, that's 30 minutes and that's right on um, target for exercise recommendations of uh, 30 minutes, five days a week. Um, the also, also another thing is to think about is to limit your sitting. So when we can get really busy doing things on our computer or at our desk, having built-in rest breaks, whether you have a timer on your computer or on your watch, to just get up, do a little stretching, or maybe take just a five-minute walk around the office, there's studies that show that although you're taking five minutes out of your work um, shift, you actually come back more productive and actually get more done than if you sat there in one position for your, your four or, or eight hour shift. So the four main things to improve your function is protect your brain, think about um, what you're doing that can be helpful for your brain's um, 
uh, wellness and then think about things that may be harmful and definitely wear a helmet whenever you're doing any kind of activity that a helmet would be helpful for. And then make sure that you're stretching out those muscles that tend to get tightened from the types of activity we do. And then make sure that you're getting enough sleep and rest at night and look for strategies uh, to help that if that isn't the case. And then lastly, just get moving. Um, every little bit counts and it helps not only your um, cardiovascular health, but also your emotional health. And I'll have more about that in another segment.